Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking an in depth look on how to create 3D text inside of Cinema 4D and Blender. So Max just released his brand new Lightroom that now works for both Blender and Cinema 4D. And if you are thinking about picking it up, please use my code EDWARD20 in order to save 20% off on your purchase. So in this video I'll go through the process on how to create 3D text in Cinema 4D and Blender step by step. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so let's start off in Cinema 4D. Just double click this uh, Cinema, Cinema 4D file that you got from the Lightroom and let it open up. Alright, so let's start off by editing the text. So just double click on it, boom, and this window will pop up right here. And here you can change um, what it will say. I'm just going to stick with name. Uh, then to change the font, just go to font right here and find a font you like. Doesn't really matter, but you do you. Done right and right down here you can uh, mess with the horizontal spacing etc and you can also mess with depth which is the, the like the extrusion of the text the, the 3d part and it's right down right here you can slide up and down i like to keep it at around 30 or 40 uh, depending on the font you could also use alt and the scroll wheel to zoom in and while we're at it let me show you how to rotate it so just click on this uh, Yes, this rotate tool right here, or R on the keyboard, and we can do something like this. I like to have it some of the like the part at the bottom to show, or we can twist it like so. Yeah, it's all up to you. Right, so let's change the color of it, and right down here you can see we have four different uh, I mean yeah four different types of materials uh, personally I like material number two which, which is already on the text right here and so to edit that just double click on this little bubble right here that's on the mode text which is the like the text layer so you just double click this little bubble and this color window will pop up and just mess with these sliders to find a color that you like. I think a nice orange will do fine. And if you want to just quickly render it out to see how it looks, just click this render view right here and it will quickly render out for you. So this is not like a finished file at all. It just a preview. And as you can see, it looks kind of boring and that is what I like about the Max Lightroom is when you bring this into Photoshop you can do like everything to like mess with the color and the effects so just having this like dull color to start with uh, I, I really like that so just so be sure to watch the end if you want to see how to make this look a lot better so uh, when you're happy with the text we want to of course export it to our desktop so just go to render settings it's like uh, what you call it this like uh, anyway so the output settings set the output settings should be default you just go to save and click on this like three dots right here and choose where you want to save it on your computer save and all these settings should be just yes, default you can pause if you want to look at them, but I'm just going to cl close out and click this render to pixel viewer to render it out to my desktop. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So when you have rendered out the, the 3D text from Cinema 4D, you, was, you just want to drag the file into Photoshop. Just like this, you can also resize it. Uh, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make this looks look a lot better So we can start off by going to, to adjustment layers and to add a photo filter 
make sure it's a clip mask to the text so we don't disturb any other of the layers and choose a nice orange color that is default and increase the density to 100% make a new layer above that right click make a clip mask choose a brush tool and a nice orange color and just paint over the text just like so and we're going to make this layer the blending mode color dodge then we want to decrease the fill so the difference be between opacity and fill the fill if you decrease the fill it will decrease the the amount of the effect if that makes sense opacity is just how much of you uh, of the effect that you see but the fill is the amount so decrease the amount to you find a color that you like I like my orange quite bright so that will do really nice so that's pretty much it uh, what I have done for other projects is as you can see if you just disable these we have actually uh, like almost a black and white base or the extrusion so what you can do is make a new layer grab something like the pen tool or the last tool and just select this 3d part and color that so we have a different colored base from the text if do this real quick we can color it in with any color is to find a nice blending mode so let's see if this was like something else that something like yeah so basically you can have like a dual color theme going on with the text so yeah that's pretty much it for the cinema 4d text and let's take a look at how to make something similar in blender so just like the Cinema 4D file, you just want to double click on the Lightroom to open up Blender. And we will be greeted with this mess. So first of all, I want to change the text. So just double click on it. So the like, it's like selected. You can see that by the orange outline. Then press tab. Then we can change what it says. But I'm going to stick, stick with name. And after you're happy with the text, you just press tab again, so the text is selected. Then we can choose the scale right here. Then we want to select this like the green point right here and just scale it down to however big you want. Then select the move tool and just position it in the middle. Something like this. So if you want to change the, the extrusion or the, like the 3D part, go to scale again. Just click on this point right here in the middle, you can drag up by pressing shift and we can increase the, the 3D part by however much we want, but I think something like this will do nice. So when you're happy with the positioning or the 3D part, I think it's time to change the font. So we head over to the side right here, we can see this little A right here, just click on it, go to font. But if you click on the font, you can see we only have one font that looks quite boring. So if you press this like folder right here, this window will pop up. And you, you might be greeted with all the fonts right away. But if you're not, you just click on the, the hard drive or the SSD, whatever, where you have Windows installed. So you just click on Windows. Then locate fonts, double click on that, and here you will find all the fonts that we have that you have downloaded on your computer. So just find a font that you like. I think I think uh, this one will do nice. So just click on it and open font and it will change the font. Alright, so that's about it for like the tweaking of the settings. Let's render it out. So just go to render and render image now it will uh, load and it will render out so i'll be back when it's finished as you can see when we have rendered out the blender text it looks a bit grainy 
and if you want to decrease the grain you can go into the render properties and we want to increase the number of samples but if we do that then it will take a little bit longer to render out and it will it will put more load on your computer so if you have a little bit of an um, potato computer you want to just maybe decrease the number of samples or leave it as it is let me show you how to actually save this rendered image let's go to image and we want to just save as select uh, some place on your computer where you want it as you might notice uh, when we rendered out the text in blender we didn't really have a lightroom to change the color or anything so that is why max included some layer styles to put on the blender text so let me show you how to use those so just open up this pcd that came with the lightroom so at the bottom you can see my render text uh, and let me show you here's all the here's some of the presets there's another pcd actually with some more but i think i like these presets right here so just right click and copy the layer style and paste it to your uh, rendered text and it will automatically be applied so yeah um you can of, of course double click to edit the layer style how you want it okay so what i just realized is that you can actually use the same technique that we used for the cinema 4d text uh, so if we let's see if we copy this lay style this black and white one right click copy it and paste it to our text now we can actually use the same technique so first off we're just going to add a photo filter do it all the way up we can even layer the color we want the example we're using orange and find a good plane mode usually color dodge it works fine i think for this you can find another one but here we use the same technique as we used before in my opinion i think cinema 4d is a better option for creating 3d text but you can uh, you could also do it in blender so really nice of max uh, for making one lightroom for each program uh, and don't forget to use my code edward20 to get 20% off your purchase yeah and i hope you enjoyed this like a little more in-depth tutorial on how to create a 3d text it has uh, been quite uh, quite uh, frequently asked by you guys so yeah here it is and don't forget to buy this amazing lightroom but yeah that will do it for this video um hit the like button subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you in the next video bye